and the, and the CSCs na wananchi wa Kirinyaga wananchi wa Kirinyaga mugeni and wa Kirinyaga murega God is good and all the time kwanza kabisa nataka kushukuru governor wa Kirinyaga kwa sababu ya kutualika tukiwa ma governors to be here it's always a pleasure for me to be in Kirinyaga although huwa nakuja kama na Kanyanga pole pole kwa sababu ni kwa adhoni but i want to give a testimony his excellency the president the Kirinyaga people are great people very good people they are very good people until when you rattle them that's when you'll know that uh, they are not they are not docile they are just good people his excellency the president mengi mesemwa kuhusu maneno ya kilimo katika mount kenya and we want to thank you most sincerely first for giving us the ministries that touch even on that kilimo the minister of agriculture who is working the whole in the whole country comes from this region you've gone ahead and given our deputy president the opportunity to coordinate this very market of tea coffee and even milk his excellency the president the pride the pride of the people of mount kenya since the time immemorial is in their produce of coffee and tea na hiyo ndio imejenga uchumi ya wale watu wote unaona wamepeleka watoto shule but today any business that does not have interest by the young people is a very hard business to progress vijana wetu ukiangalia kila pahali wako kwa kwa, kwa biashara zingine ndio sababu ya very high level of unemployment because when you are doing coffee and tea you employ yourself the only way we can get our young people involved and interested in 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 farming coffee and tea is if they see their fathers and mothers who are doing the same getting money and that is why we are very happy to commit that we will help the deputy president as governors to ensure that that road is realized so that our people our young people can also get interest in that business it can progress i do not want to go into the details because it's been put very clearly by governor cecil mbarire what is ailing us one of the things that was ailing us very in a it, it's very sad kuzuia watu ili wasiuze kahawa yao nje license ya kuuza kahawa wewe ukiwa enti unaweza kuuza kahawa nje license your excellency was 1 billion how many kenyans how many coffee farmers even with the what kind of society can afford license of 1 billion to go and sell coffee so it was restricted very few we want to thank your government because since then it's been rectified but the implementation is still not yet done we would like that to be implemented so that if the people of Kirinyaga people of Embu people of Rakanidi Meru and the rest of Kenya want to sell their coffee outside they can do it in an affordable way your excellency i want to thank you most sincerely because you have consistently since you are elected gone around this country in thanksgiving every sunday and even sometimes in between the week but you have not only done thanksgiving you have also been consistently consistently making a deliberate effort to unite the people of kenya juzi tumekuona ukiwa pande ya nyanza uniting the people of kenya and even to the extent of going to who the people or being available for the people who would evidently did not vote for you that is good deliberate effort that is kick that in kicks kingmanship and we would like you to continue doing that we want to want a kenya that is united lakini as you are doing that hata wakati ulikuwa unafanya namna hiyo and you have seen very many leaders who have been mad slinging you and talking badly warming up to your government we are also seeing another side by their leadership they are blowing hot and cold pande hii unafanya effort ya kuongea na wale viongozi ambao walikuwa mlengo wengine ndio wakuja kwa serikali tuunde pamoja pande nyingine viongozi wao wanasema sawa twendeni tukifanye kazi na serikali then all of us are wanasema tutafanya maandamano your excellency we are reading in between the lines because sa ingine could be focusing the wrong people atuelewe kwa nini wakati kiongozi wa upinzani ametoka nje akiwa huko nje anaongea mambo ya hapa na kuna wengine unakutana hapo wakifana
kwa sababu haiwezekani kwamba azimio ilikuwa imetengenezwa na mlengo mmoja kuna mlengo mwingine ya siasa ambaye they are within us and we are not looking your excellency we need to start looking at them and i want to thank you the deputy president because the other day on thursday you called the leaders who were elected by jubilee party who and those who did not make it to try and reconcile them with us which is a good effort and we're going to work with them i was talking to one of them here and we are saying we need to unite because now the politics are behind us lakini viongozi wao and i'm falling short of naming them the way sisi mbarire governor said angalia ile mlengo wengine wachana na kuangalia tinga peke yake iko wengine ambao tutaki kutaja kwa sababu hao ndio wanachochea wanasema we have not gotten what you want the, like, the way you are heading we will not get there and you know what they are looking for because this is a this a, a tactic in war your excellency that says advance while negotiating they are trying to negotiate with you while they are advancing towards war which is unnecessary because unajua wezi tishwa kwa hivyo we need to read between the lines what are they looking for ukiguza ibc wanaleta shida there is a possibility they don't want the ibc to be formed according to the law they want to be involved outside the law we would like you to ignore that your excellency and focus on what is supposed to be done according to the law sisi tukio hapa kwa viongozi wa